God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Salvation is wrought in God. Salvation is wrought in God, who is Jesus Christ, our blessed hope, who is coming back one of these days. Your name ought to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If it's not written down the Lamb's Book of Life, you will be cast into hell, which burneth forever. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Love is a sacrifice. Love is giving. To God who is love, it is never, it is never a lustful. It is never a something that He wants. It is something that He gives. It is something that He offers. And that gift, that love, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Above all, I'm just trying to find a positive scripture here. Which I can't find. Windy day again. Windy day. I don't like windy days. <clears throat> he that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not have life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. I see around me all kinds of names upon signs, but there is one name that stays above all names, the name that should be on everyone's lips, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You see these characters around here? All they care about is your vote. All Jesus Christ cares about is your soul. These people may lie to get your vote, but Jesus Christ is incapable, not I've never seen these people on these signs, but I will see Jesus Christ one day. Amen. Well, thank you very much. You have a good day now. Thank you. Suffer the little children to come on the Lord Jesus Christ. There is faith. There is what God loves right there in the little children. Thank you. over 
on, Mr. Eric. Scott, Scott should come on, take away the sins of my world from mine. You can't. You cannot remove the sins. I thank God I'm here today with all these political signs to raise up Jesus Christ. Amen. I see a judge. Kathleen, you'll stand before the holy judge one day if you're here. You're probably not even here. We'll never be here. But God is here right now. Whether there are two or three in the midst of my name, there I am present. There's a song. He's making a list and checking it twice to find out who's naughty or nice. Let me tell you, Proverbs 15, 3, that is God. The eyes of the Lord in every place beholding evil and good. You thought it was Satan cause. It's a shame for you Christians out there. I see many people out here for a man, for a human, and I don't see you for a man for God. The wrath of God is coming upon those that will reject Jesus Christ as their Savior. One day, you'll be judged before the judge of all judges. A righteous judge. A holy judge. And the books will be opened. Everything that you have done. But let me tell you, that doesn't matter. <clears throat> See, I don't care if you're involved in adultery. I don't care if you've been in prison. I've been in a prison ministry for 10 years. I don't care if you're swindling your company right now, no one knows. I don't care. I'll tell you what God cares. Have you put your faith and trust and your sins in the blood of atonement of Lord Jesus Christ? Because if you never put your name, if you never put your faith in Jesus Christ, you will be condemned to hell. Thank you. Do not show up at heaven's gate with any of these names. They can't get you in. These names will not get you into heaven. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a name above all names that I try to find in the book of Acts, which I am the failure not to know where that verse is. You say, leave the candidates alone. No, they're out here. I've been here longer. You've seen my pretty face. You've heard my sweet voice that week after week after week, and now they come to be brought before the Bible. I'm here to tell you that you, all these people, they have not believed the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. They and you will burn in hell. For God so loved the world. That's you. That he gave, that's action, that's a verb. That he gave his only begotten son, that is a proper noun. We can break this down for English. I still can press one in America. And we have an English Bible so that we can understand as um, English Americans. And the English words say that God gave His only begotten Son that you may have eternal life and have it more abundantly through Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. You will die. And you will face judgment. Be washed in the Lamb of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The land of the free, you have paid taxes. That song is so hypocritical, so rotten, because the sins of America, because America has rejected God, rejected His Son, and rejected the Word. Prepare to face the wrath of God, prepare to meet thy God, the Bible says. If Israel has suffered for her sins, America will suffer for her sins. And you're already suffering the wrath of God.
Jesus Christ. Never mind that filthy song. Let's praise the Lord. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Next idiot song they'll sing is, Rise, I've seen the coming wise. No, it's not America, it's Jesus Christ. The name that God has given, God is amongst us, God is Savior. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth shall not perish. You know what you do with milk when it perishes? You throw it away. Hey, right, thank you. It's a praise for God. You take things that perish and you throw it away. You know what God will do when you reject His Son? He'll throw you away into the pit of hell. You will burn in hell for not believing on Jesus Christ. You will be absent from the body and present with the Lord when you trust your faith. You trust your sins in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. It's either or, there's no in-between. Friend, God loves you, we love you, because we're here telling you what God wants from you. We are here to prepare you for death. We are here to tell you, you have to do something before you die. You have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And yet, that's a free will God's giving you to do or not to do. But, your life decision rests upon what you do before you die. Once you die, it's too late. Listen, life is not a video game. The game over and you press the button and restart. That's not life. Once you're dead, you're dead. And you face the consequences of what you've done. The best consequences of life and death is when you have believed on Jesus Christ and you go to be with Him for all eternity. That's what we're here for. The worst consequence is when you continue to reject Jesus Christ as you are or as you have rejected Jesus Christ and you die and go to hell. We don't want you guys, we don't want you guys to go to hell. We want you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I thank these youngsters here in the public that they stand up for Jesus Christ. These little kids make you Christians ashamed. Praise God for them. What about you? Where do you stand in the eyes of God? You stand as a sinner saved by Jesus Christ? Or you stand as a condemned sinner with whatever you got? Religion will put you in hell as quick as an atheist will be there. See, religion can't save Jesus Christ as God approved. And let me tell you something, hell is much harder than it is today. There are no electrical outlets in hell to plug in your air conditioner. And in the vastness of Satan, if Satan did have an air conditioner in hell, it wouldn't work. He'd just make you stare at a broken air conditioner for the rest of your life while you burn in torment. See, Satan has no grace, Satan has no mercy, Satan has no love, and you are in the path of Satan when you disbelieve Jesus Christ. I'm a good person. No, you're not. The Bible says there is none good. No, not one. The Bible disproves your goodness, because you ain't good, because you're born in Adam. You know what Adam did? He disbelieved God. He violated what God told him to do. You know what you're doing today, 2016? You're violating what God said. God said, believe 
on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And you ain't doing it. You are disobeying the word of God. You know what Adam got for his disobeying? He got cursed. You know what you'll get for not believing in the Lord Jesus Christ? You'll get a curse. We ought to take all these signs down and burn them. And as a nation, we should get in prayer. We should bring God back into this country. We should bring His Word back into this country. But I have in all hope you won't do that. I have no hope in America. But I got hope in the blessed hope, the Lord Jesus Christ, which washed me of my sins and is coming for me one day. What's your hope? Huh? A man who can't stay faithful to one woman? That's your hope? A person that won't even come out and meet the public? That's your hope? Jesus Christ stepped out amongst multitudes and multitudes of His people in His time. He says, Dear Christian, relax. You'll see my face one day. And I will see His face in person. I may never see the President of the United States, whoever he may be, but I will see Jesus. That's much more important than anything. To see Jesus Christ is more important than any movie star, any rock star. Because when I see Jesus, I see God. When I see Jesus, I see my Savior. When I see Jesus, I see the one that will let me into the gates of heaven by his blood. And you know how I'll know when I see him? I'll see the nail-pierced hands. I'll see the nail-pierced feet. And I will see the scar in his side that he loved me. What kind of mark do these people get for you loving them? They get into a crooked, perverse enmity of this country that is known for its lies and is known for its deceit. You can take it. You can have it. Look at these names. Slack. That's not a name for a Christian, Slack. Chitwood. See, that's the name of the people that own this stadium over here. Oh, that, you take your things there. But I have a name that has lasted all the ages. I have a name that's before man. I have a name that created man. I've got the name that created this planet called Earth. I've got the name above all names, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The John 1 says He is the Word. That's the name I want to know. I've got a one that died for my sins and that's the one I want to see. That is the one I preach. I am not ashamed of the Gospel. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Forget about a, getting a Christian someone in the politics. You'll only corrupt him. You take a coin and throw it into the cesspool. You throw it into the sewers. It's now a dirty coin. You take a Christian and get him in politics. It's that coin in the doer. It's that coin that's in the filth. It may be a coin, but it's all filthy and good for nothing. That's what your politics are. Your politics of America is the sewer. 
And all these names are just doo-doo in the sewer. But there's one that can raise you out of the sewer. There is one that can clean you and make you a vessel of honor. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the hope, not for America. That is the hope for your soul, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Your government doesn't even give a day to Jesus Christ or God. Your official document, the Constitution, doesn't even mention God or Jesus Christ. And you proclaim us as a Christian nation. And we stand here on a Saturday afternoon and two young girls will come up for Jesus and all the rest of you will reject them. How you doing, sir? Good. How you doing? Every week we try to be here. A few vendors have stepped out, but no one has stepped out to receive Christ openly. They keep making fun of you, but we're going to have fun in the end. That's right. All they that live proudly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you want to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved? There's a body of water over there. I can baptize you this afternoon. That will be the next step. But first, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Listen, people. One day you're going to wish you'd stop your commerce to hear Jesus. One day you're going to realize those oranges are not the most important thing. See, you are worshiping the creation that the Creator has made for you to make money. And you're not drop the creation to serve the Creator. I know Jeremiah... I'm no one important, but I do believe in the power of prayer. I can ask God to bless all your fruit. I can ask God to curse all your fruit. I could ask God to curse everything because you will not listen to the Word of God. I can step out of your area right there and dust off the, the dust off my feet. You proclaim that I have no love and I won't do that. Bring anger, I'll bring the love of God through the Word of God, Jesus Christ, to you every week. And you go ahead, make your money. You go ahead, sell your stuff. But one day you're going to wish you stepped out from that table and believed on Jesus. And I've been the faithful one here. I have been the one that brought the word. You got these singers over here, they're singing about America. Why don't they sing about God for a Christian nation? Do they even know one hymn of God? Do they know one, hymn, one musical note about a hymn about God? And yet, the, the hymn books are filled with the name Jesus Christ. The old ones. Poems are filled about the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is so popular in America that HR says don't mention politics and religion together. I can go for a sinner on a ballot box, or I can go for the sinless one for my salvation. Guess which one I've chosen? I've chosen the sinless one. These people stand up.
before God one day, I hope is at the judgment seat of Christ. I hope. Just because they say there are Christians doesn't make it so. You're going to die. And the odds that you'll die under a religion are very good in America. But you will die. And you have no idea when that death is going to happen. But you better believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved before you die. And I'll tell you where there's a congregation where they're all God believers today. I can tell you a place today where they're all Bible believers. And they can't read the Word of God no more. I can tell you a place where they're all happy they believe on Jesus Christ. Or I can tell you a place where they're all saying, Brother Hayward, go and preach to my family. Tell them about this place of torment. Please. That place, my friends, in the graveyards of all the world. See, you may reject Jesus Christ today. When you die, you will 100% believe in Jesus Christ. You got my word on that. One to glory and one to dishonor. But you will be a believer in Christ in His finished work. You know, sometimes you get the good answers before you took the test and you get a great grade. But when the test has been done and corrected and you find out what the answers are after that, it does you no good. You've already gotten the F. See, you can die and know Jesus, and that ain't going to do you no good if you did not believe on Him while you're living. See, when God punishes you for rejecting Jesus Christ, He will not give you a time out. God will give you a butt licking. John the Baptist said, if you don't believe on Jesus Christ, you'll face the wrath of God. And that wrath of God never ends. That's a butt whipping. But you've heard the word of God, you've heard the gospel. That Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. None of these people on those signs have ever done that. None of these people on these signs can save your soul. And I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm not telling you to vote. I'm not telling you not to vote. I'm telling you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I'm telling you, before you die, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I'm telling you, eternal hope is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I'm telling you, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. That's what I'm telling you.